So I hope this video records. Sometimes my um, photo booth intermittently, um, the, fit, the camera does not work. So I want to show what the latest hacking trick today. This is McAfee's business, Better Business Bureau profile. And I actually read all of the um, complaints. There's um, over 300 complaints. And as you can see on the bottom, there is 46 pages. Now, because I'm making a video, anything can happen, but I'm going to press next. No complaints. No complaints to di display. So that's the hacking right there. And just a second ago, because um, I found, I discovered this this morning, and I took screenshots, and I posted on my Twitter the latest hacking trick. And then, um, cause basically I was trying to look up the screenshots that I took with my iPhone on my iMac, but I noticed that the, um, McAfee better business bureau profiles were showing zero complaints. And that happened before with, um, another fraudulent organization. And I wrote that, uh, I wrote about it in one of the two cyber crime posts where um, I had looked up, I think it was the home, the Solutions Network, another cable company. This is a security software company, but I had looked up the Better Business Bureau to a cable company, the Solutions Network or something like that. And I, I saw that it had went from um, so many complaints down to zero overnight. And that's what happened with McAfee. So I finished reading the complaints last night. I took screenshots and thank God I did that because now I'm, I'm not able to access the um, authentic, uh, none of the, well, it's not authentic. I mean, it's, it, it, this is a fraudulent profile. And what this proves is it's controlled by the malicious hackers. So it can just like that, I'm gonna press the back button. It goes from, I'm on page 40, okay? And I'm just by pressing next, it shows zero. But just by pressing back, I can go back to the other complaints. However, the forward button, okay, it stops there. Forward stops. So as you can see, that's not highlighted. What is highlighted is the back arrow and they reappear. So let me just show again, I'm on page 40 of all these complaints. And the back button works so that Everything that I read last night reappears. The forward button works, but then it stops there. So it only, the forward only works for the previous and that's it. So every time I go back, it only works for the previous page, but then it stops, it gets uh, inactive. So what this is an example of is real, is, um, once again, that malicious hackers exist and that these pages are all fraudulent. They're, they're susceptible um, to hacking, and they are. And I've suspected that these BB, uh, uh, Better Business profiles were uh, uh, fraudulent for a very long time because every organization, every phone number that I Googled, starting with the ones that called the office, pulls up a Better Business profile as like one of the first top five search results on my compromised Google. That's suspicious. And what this proves is by going back and suddenly they're there, there we are.
And just by pressing next, I'm on page 40 again. And if I were to press 39, they're gone. The only way I can read those uh, complaints is by pressing the back arrow because I've already, you know, that's the only way I can see them. But if I click on the link, if I click on the number, or if I click next, they're gone. And here we are. So it doesn't really matter because I've already taken screenshots of the ones that I wanted to use, but I was looking for a particular um, complaint, but I wanted to make documentation on that. And I love it because these are infantile people and they don't realize, I don't even think they realize just how, I mean, I, th they, they're, it, I believe they're aware that they've done a lot of damage to people and they don't seem to care, but they're criminals. And um, all they're, they're uh, controlled by greed and stealing money. Um, and they don't give a shit about what they do to people's lives. If you're going to lose your job, if you're going to be homeless. I mean, look what happened to me. But they don't realize the significance of that. Like, as far as, like, I don't believe that they, you know, maybe they do. I don't know. Um, that that could count as, like, murder. If you have, if your actions are making someone homeless, and they can't support themselves or their family or their employees if they're um so if they if they own a business and you just basically scan them of all their money and livelihood and they suddenly um you know they're out they're out on the street or if they can't afford food or if they can't afford to uh basic necessities and then you know they suddenly get um maybe some uh health uh ailment or problem um, and then they go to the hospital and then they're deeper in debt. That's, that's to the degree of manslaughter. That's to the same degree as murder. Technically, in the eyes of the law, these people could be murderers of many people. Do they ever think about that? No, because their minds are limited and they're criminals. And they deserve everything that's going to happen to them. It's only a matter of time before they get busted. Guess what? Changing a better business profile, hacking it, hacking into it, and changing it from a few hundred to zero is not going to help you, bitch. It's helping me to prove my point. Hey, something suspect is going on here. Criminals are overseeing McAfee. That's a security software for devices. That gives these people access to pers not only personal information, that protects these people. The very thing that McAfee was designed to protect is helping the, the criminals. I'm not making any of this up. The reviews speak for themselves. Here's the thing about living in a free society. You can have people like that trying to obliterate civil liberties, but there's such a... The very thing that this bitch counts on, the internet, to uh, carry on with this fraud operation is the very thing that's going to bring him down. And I can't wait.